Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn the different dental hand instruments. Okay, so let's start with the mouth mirror. This is the mouth mirror. The mouth mirror is used for indirect vision for a dental clinician. Uh, it's used to see the inside part of the mouth. It's also used to transilluminate or to reflect light inside the mouth. When the clinician is doing a check around inside inside the cavity, inside the oral cavity, I should say, sorry. And um, it's also used to retract the lips and to retract the cheeks. Okay, so this is how the mouth mirror looks like. Okay, next one is a um, straight probe. This is how a straight probe looks like. This is used to check the hard tissues or the teeth. It's used to detect caries as well on uh, different surfaces of the teeth. Uh, different clinicians, they prefer different probes and uh, different countries, they use different kinds of probes. In the UK, most clinicians, they use the straight probe and the other countries they use an explorer which i'm going to be showing to you next so this is a straight probe next one is the explorer which i just mentioned so the, some clinicians did they prefer an explorer instead of the straight probe okay in different countries they use explorer and some they use the straight probe it's the same function to detect or to check uh, the surfaces, uh, detect caries on the surfaces of the hard tissue, which is the teeth. It has a different end, it has a sickle end, and the other end is called the brill end. So this is an explorer, okay? Next one is the um, called the BPE probe or the basic periodontal examination probe um, the end has a 0 0.5 millimeter width uh, this is used to check quick check the periodontal tissue okay there we go and we have the uh, williams probe next Williams probe, it has different, uh, it has 10 millimeter marking. If you can see those markings there, lines. Uh, this is used to um, uh, do a six point pocket chart. So if the clinician uh, detects that um, the gums has uh, periodontal issues, they will do a further check. So they will use the Williams probe. Okay, there you go. So Williams probe. Next one is we have a flat plastic. If you can see, here is the. It is a double-ended instrument. So that's the other. I don't know if you can see that. The end, and on the other end, that is how it looks like. This is used in uh, composite fillings. It's used to pick up the composite and plug it in the cavity preparation. So this is a flat plastic. Flat plastic comes in different colors. Some you have a gold one. And um, I'll show you. This can also be a flat plastic, but it's a um, narrower width. Okay. There you go. And then next one is we have the amalgam carver. This is used to carve the amalgam uh, filling. Amalgam carver comes in different shapes and uh, sizes. This is a shorter one. This is also an amalgam carver, but it's a longer uh, end. If comparing to the other end is shorter but they are the same um, use is to carve your amalgam 
fillings. Okay. Uh, this is actually called a Hollenbach carver, amalgam carver. Okay. So I think we have a different kind of carver here as well. So this is another amalgam carver. Okay. There you go. Um, the, amalg the long amalgam carver can also can also be used as a uh, gum separator. A gum separator is um, um, an instrument used to um, you know when clinicians are doing uh, extraction, they have to separate the gum from the bone first. So they can use this one as a gum separator. There you go. Next one is we have the ball uh, burnisher. A burnisher has different ends, like this one here. This is called a pear shape end. And the other one, the other end is a ball end. See, it's a different shape. We also have a different burnisher. It's a ball burnisher, ball shape, you can see. We have the smaller end and the bigger end. Ball burnisher is used to um, plug composite fillings and also is used to polish the amalgam fillings. Okay, so that's your burnishers, amalgam burnishers, ball burnisher or pear shaped burnisher. Next one is the spoon excavator okay the spoon excavator looks like this uh, it ha it is a double ended as well it has um this end here and the other end uh a spoon excavator comes in different sizes. This one is a small, and others are slightly bigger than this one. Uh, this is used to uh, excavate or to remove um, carious dentin in uh, uh, cavity preparations. When a clinician is uh, doing a cavity preparation, um, in, instead of using a conventional handpiece to remove um, carious dentin, they can use this spoon excavator. Okay, it's all depending on the clinician's preference again. And the next one is we have the plugger or amalgam plugger. See, it has a bigger end which is this one here and we have a smaller end okay this is used to push or plug your amalgam fillings inside the cavity that is the amalgam plugger okay we also have here a um plastic uh, spatula this is used to mix uh, a, a liquid and a powder and a powder um, um, if you are mixing a liquid and powder this is what you will use I'm sorry and um, say for example you're mixing a zinc phosphate a liquid and a powder you use this one to mix it in a mixing pad okay there you go sorry and now we have the um college tweezer in some countries they call call it a um, cotton plier okay it has a uh, different looks and if you can see this one it's a different has a longer end this one is uh, and this is a curved um, 
curved end and while this one is a bit angled okay that's your college tweezer or cotton plier okay and we also have here a hand scalers hand scalers comes in different shapes and uh, it all depends on which tooth you're scaling so you have to uh, select the uh, appropriate end for the teeth that you're scaling but this is just to show you how a hand scaler looks like this is also a hand scaler hand scaler sometimes they have different handles they come in plastic handles and not all handles so uh, my hand scalers are limited so you can I'll just show you how hand scaler looks like okay so um, that's our dental hand instruments for today if you have any comments and if you have any questions please write them down on the comments below and um, if you want to uh, learn any more um, or any topic in uh, regarding dentistry you can put them down in the comments below and i will try if i can discuss it or give an answer to it okay so thank you very much and don't forget to click that like button until next time bye